life has been good enough, it could be enough. If only it wasn't for one decision, for one escape from things I considered self-focating, dull, and miserable. How strange life is. How strangeful. How little a thing is needed for us to be lost or to be saved. Strange as in, life could be a little bitchy sometimes. It could turn into ways you never expected it to be. I was a middle class lass who met a middle class man whose name is Loisel. We were happy. It was like life was magical. Like forever. Are you still on bended knees begging for mercy? Cause I told you that there's no fire in their eyes, but you keep on saying no. You keep on believing that this magic gets real. There's this void you wanna feel that there's magic. I found in my heart and soul that and contentment in life. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Everything became routine, tedious. And our living started to move into its insensible stuff. I'm trying to endure. Trying to give my best to endure. Though I was like a pet of volcano because of this wearisome life. Have you eaten yet? Yes, I'm done. I don't know if I can call us a family when a child who has to prove our marriage doesn't even exist. Anything. But I was patient. Maybe you? I'm not in the mood, okay? I know it's 7 a.m., but can you please turn off the alarm because I'm still sleepy? Honey, where's my coffee? It's okay, uh, I'll just have my breakfast outside. No problem. Until one day. Matilde. Matilde. What? You're not eating your food. Are there any problems? No, nothing. No, just say so. You know there is. What's the matter? No, nothing. Matilde. Yes. I'm your husband. Okay? Okay. Here's the thing. I'm just thinking, what's some of feel like if there are children running around? You know? It would be the atmosphere of every night and day if there are noise of plates and spoons over the meal. So you know what happened? Yes, there will be more life here. You know? 
this house has been so dull for five years. Five years. Nothing there. I've already talked about that. You know I have a problem. You're thinking too much. No, but... No, no, no. Finish your food. Let's rest. Hey. How do you expect me to eat? No, no, no. You know, with these problems? Attila, it's been a tiring day, so let's just rest. Okay? Okay, okay. It's raining and it's cold. Maybe this time you can make a mirror. I don't know. I really don't know. No, we can try it again. It's still there. Try it again. We've been trying for five years. Honey. Honey. No. You know, we can always try, right? No, we can try. You can just give no, me... No, no. Shh. Shh. Me. Always try. You can always try. about what you just did. As I said, always try. Always try. Don't get your hands off the rain. You get there. Right. No. Always like that. You're acting someone who holds every property in the world. This is work all the time, dear. What do not think and what actions do? We're trying to say, what do you mean? You always work things with your mouth. See, you don't even put your mind about taking in serious medication. What? for you. What's that? I want you to open this. Tell me what's No, I want you to open this because I'm sure that you will really love it. Yeah. A party? Yes, a party. Don't you like it? Wait, dear. I'm sure you and your friends will really enjoy it. I mean, after how many years without seeing each other, I'm sure you will really enjoy it also. What do you want me to tell them? they are going to ask me how am I doing, what I'm doing right now. So what do you want me to tell them? That I have a lot of common works like washing mm. the clothes, cleaning the house. Is that what you want me to say to them? I'm just a plain housewife. I'm sure a lot of them are businessmen, I have a very good position in the government. And me, you see, I'm here. I, I'm just gonna give shame to myself there. My dear, there's nothing wrong being a good housewife, my dear. So I'm giving you this as a credit. Consider this as a credit. I want you to enjoy that night. About that dress that you mentioned a while ago, remember that dress that you wore last year in a ball? that you have attended. That dress? Are you kidding me? No. I already, not... hey, I already wore that dress last year. You want my friends to laugh at me? 
not good. I don't, I don't want to wear that dress again. My dear, you got dress to stop you from saying no, yes no. to my offer. What I'm trying to say is that my presence will mean a thing there. Okay. How much do you need so that you can buy that dress that you need for your party, my dear? You just say so how much you do you need? How much do I need? Maybe four thousand for you. Four thousand? Yeah. Mm. Yes, I can give you four thousand. Really? Yes, just make sure that it's a pretty dress. Yeah. It's so much fun. I can go to the party. Come on, give me a Thank you. What are you doing? Checking our bills. Oh wow! Wow! Looks so beautiful in that dress, hon. Thank you. You made the right decision. Where did you buy it? Just from the mall. But I haven't told you. I okay. cannot attend the party with you this Friday because I have a meeting with my boss. Okay, to you, I'll just fetch you after the party. What? We're not going together? Come on, look at me. Hey, look at me. I don't have any jewels with me. So dull. I think I'm not going to the party. No. I'll just be a mess over there. I don't want to wear fake jewelry. My friends will just laugh at me. What do you mean? You look beautiful without those jewels. <laughs> No, I, I should have. She will be. Yes, I know, but wait. <laughs> May I have at least friends that you can borrow some jewelry? Yeah, Jean. Right. She's my friend. I can borrow jewelry from her. That's what I'm telling you. Looking great. Oh yeah, it shows. So, it's been one year. I heard you married your third husband. Yeah, but I'm so sorry I forgot to tell you. Anyway, it's not my third. It's my fourth husband. Oh, it's your fourth husband. Oh me, I just married one. And oh my gosh, you just still don't have a child. But you will have soon. So, what brought you here? What brought me here? I'm going to a party. Oh, that would be fun. However. I don't have any chill to wear. Don't show them. You just came to their person. And I think I might have something that perfectly fits. Really? Yeah, goddess. Wow! Oh, yes, and that's actually a genuine ruby stone. I just bought it from Egypt a couple of months ago. And that's what my late husband gave to me during our wedding anniversary. It is real, Star. You can actually choose something and then look in the mirror. Are these from China? Oh, yes. By the way, what's the color of your dress? Black and red. Do you think it would be better? Okay. What do you think? What are these? These are bangles. Oh, they're bangles. Uh, I haven't been wearing much jewelry lately. Mm. It's so great. Jean, none of these fits me. Come on. Stay here for a while and close your eyes. Okay. Well,
Just closing my eyes. Don't open it yet. Uh, gets me excited. What's that? What are you doing? Can I open it? Nice. Serves a photo on my cam. Oh, is that an iPhone? Yes, of course. Oh, yeah. Let's have a picture together. Sure, sure. Oh my God. By the way, friends, I'll be having this picture as a souvenir. Can for you take a picture party. for us? Thank you. Yes. Oh.
is it? Honey! What's the matter? I don't seem to have the necklace. It's not, it's not here. That's what? Miss Jean Forrester's necklace. It look, it's possible. It's just, I was just wearing that. I don't know, I can't, I can't seem to find it. It's just here, it's Honey, just here. Please help me, that's so, so expensive. You can't pay that. Keep looking, please. Okay, let's take a moment. Relax. Are you sure that when we left the party, it is still in your neck? Yes, I still felt it at the function hall. It was still there. If you lost it while we are walking in the way, you should have at least heard it fall or... No, I didn't really notice it. It must be in a cab. Or in the cab that we have. No, I don't know. Please, help me, Okay. Every foot of the way we came, I will came back to it and I'll look for it. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm writing to you this letter because I've been worried for three days. Tell you honestly, I broke the class of your necklace and I'm having it repaired into the goldsmith. But don't worry, I'll return it as soon as it's repaired. Your friend, Mathilde. Madam, we already talked about this 10 years ago. Oh, whatever. Thank you so much, madam. Thank you.
Yeah, I mean. I might have needed it. Anyway, it's all right. Thanks. You find a replace the only moment. About our debts, I heard Mrs. Bennett is looking for a housemaid. No, no. I'll apply. No, Mathilde. You don't have to work. I will work overnight. I will work hard. For our debts to be paid. But I need to help you. I need to help you pay the debts. As a man of this family, I will do everything I can for us. I'll help you. Let me help you. Yes, madam. You could go home now, Mathilde, and take your rest. You have been so good of a helper for us. Oh, you always bring your paperwork here. You look tired. Tired? Yeah. You never get tired. Oh, no, I know you're tired. You, you want me to dance so that I can, s I can see me and that I'm not tired? Hmm? Like this, like this, like that? Huh? No. Never get tired. Oh, my back. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Careful. No, oh, come, come here, come here. Come here, let, let me massage you. Oh, my back. Okay, just, just lay down, just lay down. Tomorrow will end all our suffering. We have a normal life again. Start over again. Life with no worry of paying a debt. Happy life. something to tell you about the necklace I borrowed from you. The necklace? Oh yeah! The necklace that you borrowed from me! Yeah, the necklace. The necklace that I borrowed from you for an apartment. Well, I told you in the letter that I broke the necklace, but it wasn't that. I really lost it. And it cost me 10 years to pay the debts. Oh. 